Milo, on the floor of the AUVSI 2014 uh, exposition, there's been so much emphasis on renewed and even new capabilities for the UAV market, which, let's face it, it's, it's a revolutionary market from, from the get-go. But one of the things we're noticing is the implementation of VTOL or VSTOL solutions for a number of these aircraft. You've gone straight VTOL. How do you do it? What happened in regards to your thought processes to develop this aircraft? Where do you see its mission? The way that we've gone about it is by essentially adapting the uh, new quad rotor technology to fixed wing. We have taken a conventional fixed wing air vehicle, our T-15 or T-20, and fitted vertical lift rotors on it. We launch by lifting the vehicle to a transition altitude and engaging the main propulsion engine and achieving horizontal flight. The market is really quite immense. Just about anyone who would want to use UAVs wants this capability because in the UAV world, the primary launch mechanism is via some type of catapult launcher. The launchers are additional equipment that has to be carried along, so we don't have that need anymore. Some UAVs land in uh, nets uh, or other capture mechanisms. Some, like ours, land on their belly, usually are able to do so on unimproved surfaces. But even then, there's an awful lot of places where there is no dirt road or whatnot to land your UAV. So now, with the VTOL capability, whether it is rooftop, say an embassy or something like that, or if it's a search and recovery mission in some difficult territory or for fire support and reconnaissance where, again, there's winding roads, there is no place to put it down, now we have the ability to deploy a UAV in many, many places where you couldn't, you, you can't today. How extensible is this model? Does it apply to potentially larger vehicles? Well, we just announced today that we're developing our Jump 25, which will be a larger version of our current Jump 20, and it's designed around carrying a 10-inch sensor. We are examining the possibility of vehicles up to a couple of thousand pounds. The feasibility of that has yet to be proven, but we're hopeful and we're working on that type of uh, vehicle right now. With the current uncertainty in regards to how the FAA is using the uh, unmanned air vehicle market, the fact that they're not quite sure what they have to do, they know they have to do something, they just don't want to do anything right now. How is that holding you back or the rest of the market? What advice do you give, do you have to give for the FAA right now in regards to how do you deal with a market as innovative as this is and as chomping as a bit as everybody is and allow them to get to work? Yeah, it's not holding us back at all. Uh, we are focusing strongly on export markets. Okay. Now we are also we have a renewed focus on domestic DOD. You know, I think that the FAA is doing the right thing. They're being very careful, and they should be. The feedback that we're getting from the UAV test sites is that the UAV wants very much the feedback from companies like us on how the system is working. They know that the restrictions are too tight right now, um, but uh, they have said that they've got an open door in terms of hearing how do things need to be formed and shaped. So there is a lot of um, uh, consternation right now when it comes to uh, airspace in the United States, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't disagree with the, the caution that the FAA is using going forward, and I think that things will be worked out uh, and I think we're probably going to make a lot of progress in this next coming year as we and other UAV manufacturers start to fly in the, at the UAV test sites. Well, I hope you'll keep us up to date. We we'll certainly look forward at some point in the future to seeing one of these vehicles in action. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Aero TV is brought to you by over the past two decades, no resource has compiled as much expert valued information about the sport plane world than the Sport Plane Resource Guide. Over 1,500 pages, hundreds of aircraft, dozens of how-tos and directories. All this and more will be coming to the sport aviation world soon with the new all-electronic and updatable Sport Plane Resource Guide for your iPad, iPhone, Kindle, tablet, PC, or other electronic devices. Get your order in now www.sportplane.com